Your foot is too big. <laughs> Your foot is too big. You're not Usagarella. You're not Usagarella. <laughs> Hello everyone, my rascals, viewers, welcome in. Today we are on part two of a 10 part video and these won't be releasing every Saturday. I kind of want to change it up, like do a Disney doll and then maybe like a Monster High doll or something else in the collection. So uh, this will probably be <laughs> spread out uh, across the, I guess, couple of months so expect it not back to back every Saturday <laughs> but I do want to take a moment to welcome y'all in thank y'all for tuning in if you're a current subscriber if you're a rascal thank y'all if you are new to my channel and you like my content go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's free and if you're just here hit the like button it helps out my channel now, before we get into the Cinderella designer doll of part two, Cinderella designer, uh, the Cinderella designer doll was the first to ever come out in the Disney designer princess collection. Now, before we look closer at this doll like I did with Ariel, I went through my garage and I found some of the other items <laughs> from this collection that I didn't mention in my first video. So. Each dog came with a bag, so it was tailored to fit them. So I'll give you some B-film here, but we have five princesses artwork on one dis one side, the other five on the other, and then we have these kind of satin, silk, gold-like ribbons, and then we have the kind of um, design here of the kind of, what would you say, floral-ish kind of design, but each doll came with this bag. I also went through my garage and I found a Jasmine shirt. Like, why did I buy a, a, a girl shirt that doesn't even fit me? I think it, for me, I was just like, I need the collection. I'm on the hype. <laughs> but I did have that. I left it in the box because I was like, I'm not taking it out. I guess I just have it for, you know, purposes for, I don't know. <laughs> but then we have this clutch. The clutch has this kind of, um, what are these? Are they called sequences on it? And then we have the, I'll give you B film as well on this. We have five princesses, Tiana, Cinderella, Aurora, Snow, and Belle. The back is just plain. And then inside, I guess it's like a coin bag. I don't, I don't utilize these, so I don't know. This is so hard to open. Why am I having such a hard time? Okay, so it opens and it is like a bag here uh, with a zipper that you can, I don't know. I think I just got it because I was so hyped about this collection when I first, and it was just like, it opened the collector in me. And then I found the sticky notes here. It is still sealed. Um, so I'll give y'all closer looks here, but it came in a gold tin with a window that says Disney Princess Designer Collection. There's 2,000 decorative sticky notes, and some of them are so tiny, like they're all kind of tiny. I don't know how you would be able to really write on them. Um, looking at it, I don't know. <laughs> If this was such a good idea, they should have just made them all big. Like this big sticky note here, they should have made it this size. They are like almost the size of my thumb. Like you can't really write anything and half of it is the artwork. <laughs> I don't know. But I have it for collection purposes. And then as always, um, let me know if you want me to do these every um, part that I upload. But I have the journal and mug. And like I mentioned, it's a hardcover with the princess pen on there with the artwork from Steve Thompson. This one has a little scratch on it and I don't, I'm guessing it's because of the, um, when I was moving and packing. And then the cup, the cups, the mugs are so gorgeous with the full body picture and then a closer up picture. And then of course the color of the princess that is um, correlated with them. 
Um, other than that, I wanted to share that really quick before we get into the review of Cinderella. If I find anything else, I'll be sure to mention them in the next part. But I think that's pretty much all that I have. Um, so let's go ahead and go into my doll room so we can take a closer look at Cinderella. Here we are in my doll room once again, and we are going to look at the slipcover really quick because I love the artwork of this, um, and then we'll get into the doll. So with the slipcover, we have the artwork that Steve Thompson did, and we also have the gold foil Disney princess, just like the Ariel one. Everything's pretty much the same, except the color is a little bit different, um, and then of course the artwork. Um, as we turn this to the side, it's exactly the same as the Ariel one. We have kind of like a fuller blown picture of Cinderella on one side and then the other side they have her kind of cut off. Her head is cut off, <laughs> but it is more of like a translucent kind of artwork and the opposite side does have the same kind of artwork there. And then I love the back. I mentioned this in my uh, uh, my first one with Ariel. Um, at the top, we have a little description here. If you'd like to pause and read, you may. But I love these ideas that they have with the artwork that Steve Thompson drew, like the updo and what went into the outfit and what his look was really. And I, I really like that little touch here. The slip cover, of course, always comes off to revealing the doll. And really quickly, I love this acrylic display case. It is very sturdy and keeps out the dust, of course. And I love how high quality it is with the, the acrylic here and not just like a plastic, especially for the price of this doll. I really like that. Um, the back of this has the uh, artwork of Cinderella again and then we have the certificate of authenticity if you want to pause and read it on your own you may um, and I have number 8,000 I'm sorry 3,880 out of 8,000 all right so like I mentioned all these dolls pretty much have that kind of background border of a chandelier um, and then that's pretty much synchronized throughout all the dolls. Now we're going to look at Cinderella's shoes. And her shoes are a little bit easier to look at than Ariel's. They are that clear, translucent kind of high heel as you would see Cinderella have with the glass slipper. And I do like that because they could have just given her a blue kind of shoe. Um, but I do like how they imagined and thought, oh, she has a glass slipper. It's see-through. So I do appreciate that they put that into this doll. Now coming out of the uh, outside where we see the dress, it looks like it's a two layer satin dress sewed together to make it thicker, but we have all these embellishments on the front that are kind of scattered along the bottom um, of the dress. And as we look, she does have a bow, a, like a big bow, kind of like a Marilyn Monroe kind of vibe. And I do love that. Um, but then at the back, what I don't really like is that the embellishments didn't continue to the back, but I guess that's because they didn't think anybody would really <laughs> open this doll. Um, but then we have those kind of tails of the bow in the back as well that droop all the way down and kind of train behind her. Now her top has a little bit more embellishments towards the top of her bust, um, and then it kind of trickles down into the lesser um, jewels there. She does have these gloves that you can see. They are kind of like a, mm, a stretchy fabric. I'm not too sure what kind of fabric that is, but they do have embellishments on the top. They don't go all the way around, which I'm kind of curious as to why they decided not to do it all the way around. Um, and like I mentioned before, I think it's because they thought that this was not going to be a take out of the box doll should be left in and not really for play or really showing the back and I think that's what Disney's idea was there. Going up to her accessory which is her necklace. Her necklace is a kind of uh, I would say a ribbon 
uh, fabric around her neck with black embellishments. And then the necklace is a two layered necklace here. And it looks like it has like a stretchy string with black jewels on it. And I do love this tie in here. Now we don't really see Cinderella having a black choker necklace in the film, but I do like that the, um, it does kind of pop out and give a darker tone that the lighter blues kind of can be easier on the eye with, if, if you get what, I, what I'm saying. Um, her other accessory is her purse, and I think this is the standout piece with the carriage. Um, the carriage does have a chain link, and then the carriage also has these kind of like swirls as wheels, and it's like a, a metal plastic. Um, it, I'm not too sure if it opens, um, and I'm not going to test that out because I don't have one to open. And then, of course, it has this kind of iridescent feel where it kind of gives like a pearly kind of shine. Now we make our way up to her face, and I love the doll faces of all my dolls pretty much. And her face is a clear print. I do love it. We have a lighter purple-ish, mm, a hint of purple pink lip gloss. The eyes are a great screen print, giving that kind of pinup girl kind of look with the eye, in my opinion. She does have eyelashes, but they aren't as long and exaggerated like the Ariel doll, which I do like for Cinderella. Um, I, I don't really see it standing out a whole, whole lot, but I know some people are indifferent about rooted eyelashes. And then, of course, she has her lightly blush on her cheeks, which give the kind of uh, aesthetic of her wearing makeup. Now we make our way up onto her hair. We're going to look at her headband. And surprisingly, her headband looks to have embellishments all around her headband. So that's why I'm kind of curious as to why they didn't do it on the uh, back of the dress and the sleeves. Um, <laughs> but it is just a light blue ribbon kind of matching with the overall aesthetic of her dress. Um, and that's pretty much it for her headband. Her hair is a light blonde kind of texture there, not as equivalent as to her animation. Um, but we have a curl for her bangs, and then we have kind of like a hump here. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Jersey Shore Girls, again, <laughs> just like Ariel. Um, but I think it's supposed to be a high ponytail um, with a hump kind of like the artwork. But I'm not too fond of the hair. <laughs> I do like the bang, but other than that, I'm not too, too fond of the hair. Now that's pretty much all of the Cinderella designer doll. Let me go ahead and give you my overall thoughts. My overall thoughts of this doll, I'm going to personally give this doll an eight out of 10. And the reason why I give this doll eight out of 10 is because the price, first of all, for a $60 doll, those dolls that are $60 now that you can get probably from Disney Store and Mattel and uh, Monster High. I know Mattel Monster High are kind of the same. But the the details in this doll I can see are worth it. And then you get that acrylic case. Maybe it's an 8.5 for me. 8.5 out of 10. And the high, it's very high quality here. Um, then we have the dress. I love the style of the dress. It is, it, like I mentioned, two fabrics, so you get that thicker fabric here. The only things I would want to also put in there is that I wish they just added the embellishments here and completed the overall look, even if you can't see the back. I wish you had embellishments on the back, even on the bow. Um, and then finish the embellishments on the sleeve. Why didn't they have that there? Um, I also wish they had dangling earrings, kind of uh, like Ariel. I mentioned I wish they were gold um, dangling chain earrings. On this one, I wish they were silver dangling chain earrings. And like, um, and I don't think I even talked about the earrings, so let's talk about that really quick. The earrings are just a stud, and they are just, um, it looks like, I don't know, like a little embellished jewel there that they just added on. So nothing too special, uh, just like a stud like they did with Ariel. 
But that is my review on the Cinderella doll. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a screen capture or like a view of what she goes for on the third marketplace, such as eBay. And if you wish to save up in the future for her, you may. Let's go ahead and go back into my computer room so we can close out this video. And that was part two of my what started it all in my collection and being a collector <laughs> featuring Cinderella from the Disney Princess Designer Collection that released in 2011. I'd like to know your thoughts on this doll review. If you have this doll yourself, if you have the D23 exclusive variant of this Cinderella in the silver dress, which one do you prefer of the two if you have them? I did look to see if I could afford the silver one and I was just like, I think I'm good with just the blue one because <laughs> I don't have the money for that. And if you got it at retail, I'm happy for you. Just l let me know what your thoughts are on that one if you own it. <laughs> um, let me know as well if you were like me and you got more than just the dolls, whether it's the mugs, the the um, clutches. Uh, some of these things I, I didn't even know that I bought. And I was just like... How did that wind up in my collection? Did I really buy that? Just like that shirt, the Jasmine shirt. It doesn't fit me. Why do I have it? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you join me on my other uh, designer collection reviews, as well as my other doll reviews. And if you want to join me on my gameplays and my live streams, you're more than welcome to come in as well. I hope y'all have a great day, a great night, wherever you're at today. And remember... Stay kind to yourself. Simply Rise, out.